Welcome back to another episode of Gardening with Ryan, and in this one I will be talking about why I will not be using Windows 11, and why I also will probably not be using Ubuntu, whatever the next one is. Well, Windows 10 is already garbage, and as I've already said in previous episodes, it's not rocket science, but is and is not garbage software. Garbage software are things like being prompted to make an account when you install an operating system. Sound familiar to a couple of us? Oh, look at, oh, look, the top of, uh, the top of our ice plant over there got burnt in the heat. <laughs> but, uh, And Ubuntu's doing this now, too, but we'll get to that. Um, in Windows 10, it comes with things like Skype and Candy Crush. And to achieve any sense of like usability as a developer, uh, and Microsoft knows this, you have to have a bunch of Linux tools, so that's why they're pushing WSL. And on the note of WSL, when you go to Ubuntu's website, you have to practically dig to find that it's actually a Linux distribution that can be installed on its own. It's, it's all, the first thing you get is, hey, did you know that you can run it inside Windows with WSL and you can use our cloud solutions and stuff, bro? So I kind of want to install Debian, but... Um, See, Debian Stable has really old packages, but uh, Debian SID is too much work, and I don't know what I'm going to run. I've heard good things about Ardix, but I just heard that, well, I heard the Wi-Fi is annoying, but that's not that big of a deal. I can deal with that. Um, I don't know. Arch Linux might be cool. Uh, I, I installed OpenBSD in a VM once, and that was cool. Maybe I'll run that. Uh, I, I, I want to run some really epic Linux OS that's cool and stable. And Well, anyway, I'm getting off topic. I'm getting really off topic. Ubuntu now has lots of this garbage software. It's like, would you like to submit anonymous data to Canonical? Would you like to would you like to live patch with your account and get the super special updates? Do you want do you, and, and look, we we brought this back to life. This back to life. This jade is starting to look more normal. I mean, this garden's going places. But you get all of you get prompted with all of this crap. And if you want to see what it's like to have a normal install, just install pretty much, okay, go install Linux Mint, for example, or Debian, or, uh, I don't know, Windows 7, even. But, or, like, like the, for a while, you used to be able to choose to not make it, uh, install Windows 10 with a Microsoft account, and then that didn't work. So now you have to pretend you don't have internet while you do it. And, um, well, it seems like that's going to be blown. And further, on Windows 11, you need a... Okay, so the only reason I'm even using Windows in the first place is because Discord hasn't... Uh, ported audio capture to Linux yet, but hopefully that comes soon. But I'm looking for an OS. I'm already running Ubuntu on my servers, but it's starting to piss me off with the whole snap thing and stuff. Debian 11 is about to drop, and I haven't run testing or SID or anything yet because, well, I don't really feel like maintaining in anything that's even somewhat unstable because, I mean, I guess I can deal with it, I don't uh, but I'm looking for a daily driver that I don't have to like, wonder, like, hmm, am I going to have to reinstall today? I, like, I don't want to have to deal with that. But things like 
Amazon search built in. Okay, I can't hold can, I can't hold that against Canonical forever. But uh, anyway, hipsters, help me out. What BSD should I use? Or not BSD necessarily. What what distribution should I use? Or should I use BSD? Or should I use some like Arch Linux thing? I've never used Arch Linux except once attempting to install Kiss Linux. That didn't go well. Well, mainly because you have to come with your own kernel and stuff, and I was, I, I was alright, I want my computer to work, so I actually reinstalled Windows for that stupid audio driver that I need at the moment. I have no, like, ethical commitment to free software, by the way. I'm, I'm not ethically against the free software movement either, I'm just... I, I, I don't really know much about the ethical arguments for and against free and proprietary software, nor do I really care. I like the MIT-style licenses because I don't have to worry about, like, going to jail for accidentally distributing the wrong thing. There's a lot of green already coming back into that pot on the right. You can turn this off now, by the way. I'm out of rants. I'm just going to keep watering. But if you enjoy, feel free to stay.
thanks for watching.